I'm gonna drop it. Hello, hello. Let me adjust the microphone. It's a new year. It's 2015, in case you haven't noticed. Of course, if you're watching this in 2018, you're thinking, what's he going on about? And welcome. 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 It's been, oh, it's been quite a while since the last prog review, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> but you know, you know what it's like. Welcome to Prog Review, episode uh, 303, 303, and today, if you haven't read the title or description, I'm talking about, oh, Celestial Music by Laragi. Uh yeah, Celestial Music. But bef before I start, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the old, uh, the, the old cap out, the old, the old begging bowl, because, um, you know... I, I, you know, you know, you know what it's like when you're a world famous YouTuber. Um, if you want me to, you know, if you want me to prosper in 2015 or 2016 or 2017 or 2018, whenever you're watching this, um, there is a Patreon, whatever that is, where you can donate. Indeed, you can donate. Um, the bonuses aren't that good because, yeah, you know, I haven't worked, I haven't thought it through. But for just a mere dollar a month, you can help me stagger on. If if half of you, half of you subscribers, donated a dollar, I'd be able to pay off my mortgage in five years. If all of you donated a dollar, pay off the mortgage in two and a half years. Yeah. If you all donated two dollars, pay off in a year. Just imagine that. You could you could do that for me, and everyone's going. Oh, he's desperate. Well, you got you got to ask, didn't you? You got to ask. But anyway, this was donated by a viewer. If you peel back, you can see me unboxing it, and I've been listening to this over the holidays, over the Christmas holidays. I've been listening to this and reading this. Both of these were were presents from you, very 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 nice people very good book and a very good record this is the kind of record that you have on in the background when reading a, a book um, but yeah Laragi I don't know if you're familiar with his work maybe maybe you are maybe you're not um, I was brought to him via of course Brian Eno in the ambient the ambient section you, you know and um, yeah Laragi's work is quite interesting uh, Again, with this great record, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a lot, of mini unboxing. See, there's the front and back. Oh, it's all gonna fall off. But what we've got here, you see, is, is you've got a little potted history of the man, which is absolutely fascinating to read, and it's good because it's in typeface that I can actually see, because I'm, I'm blind as a bat, you know. And um, see, look, there's Mr. Eno. I don't know if you can see that there, and. Um, there you go. See, I, I know from Flow Goes the Universe, and uh, and this was released last year. There was a kind of a big reissue thing on the All Saints label of Larage's music, and a lot of the stuff on here, um, not a lot of it, some of it. If I say a lot of it, that sounds like oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. But some of the stuff on here. I wasn't familiar with because it's got some of the early recordings, and now it's interesting because when Laraji was put, used to perform in the, in New York in the various parks and that people would come to him and say, I've "Got this from the liner notes. You know, you should check out Frippinino." And he'd go, "Who?" Um, because that's not where his influence came from. Uh, I think it was more like the Terry Riley kind of side of things. He does looping and ambient looping type stuff, but. He uses a very interesting uh, range of instrumentation. He uses the auto harp slash zither, and he plucks that and he bows it, and he uses various other uh, percussion like the kalimba, you know, ethnic percussion, and he loops it and adds his voice to it. And it's very meditative 
almost transcendental music. Um, it's, it's not going to be for all of you, I know, I know. Um, but I thought this was quite a good introduction. Um, uh, quite a good introduction to to his work. Though it's very wide, because it does cover the period 1979 to 2011. So it's a, it's a big one. It's a, it really is a big one. Um, like I said, um, it's not going to be for everybody. No, no, it's not. Um, it's like I said, it's very, it's very, it's almost spirit. It's almost spiritual music. Um, if you, if you can, if, if you can believe, I, I've got a spirit. No, no, no. Um, I find it very relaxing and very calming, and that's what all good ambient music should be. It should be something that you don't necessarily sit there and tap your foot to, but you have on in the background, and it gets your mind into a certain receptive state, and that's what I use this kind of music for. Um, there's also two other releases. There's there's an album. There's uh, two sides of Laraji, which combines two of his albums together. I think it's Flow Goes the Universe and oh, I can't remember the name of the other album. Don't worry about that. And there's another one which was released on clear vinyl, which I'll, I'll have to get my hands on. Um, is, it, is it called Essence? Hold it. Let me just let me just check the inner sleeve. <laughs> This is what happens when I don't write any notes. Yeah, Essence slash Universe. Um, and it was there too. It's a reissue of a 1970, 1987 album. So, you know, it's, um, yeah, it's quite a good reissue thing. I've got to get hold of those two, though. Um, if you don't want to pony up the money for the CD or the vinyl, um, I have seen that these are available on emusic.com. I don't know if you're familiar with that platform. Uh, I've had a subscription subscription for years now, um, so yeah, you can go over there and try his work. I think I think it's I think um, because they pay per track rather than per minute. <coughs> the flow the, the sorry the Essence Universe album is only two tracks. So it only cost only cost you a couple of quid to try it out. I think I've probably got that completely wrong. You will come back to me and say, Darren, you're lying to us. But yeah, um, if you want something that's going to ease you into a, into a calming state, check out Laragi. Um, you can hear kind of his influence on the things I do. Um, again, if you if you go from the if you trace from the, the like the Terry Riley school of ambiance, that's the kind of that's the kind of line, lineage lineage. Um, it's very easy to get lumped into the the Frippinino camp. Which is a bit more um, synthesized, I believe. Um, yeah, I mean, in terms of a rating, um, it's a, yeah, it's a it's a good it's a good one. I th I think it's I think it's worthwhile, but you know, I I am biased because I do like it in the first place. Um, avoid it if you don't like ambient music. Avoid it if you're not into um, kind of Eastern mysticism and uh, eth ethnocentric instrumentation. Sounds like I swallowed a thesaurus. Um, yeah, avoid it. If you, I mean, if you like, I don't know, Dream Theater, you're not gonna, you're not gonna dig this. But if you like your Brian Eno's, the amb the ambient side of your Brian Eno's, and and your and your Frippin Eno, and your Terry Riley, check out Laragi. If you haven't already known, if you don't already know him already, um, if you do know him already, and you want to like upgrade your your old vinyl, I guess it'd be. Oh, these were released on CD. It might be worth checking these out. I mean, I haven't got anything to compare it against because um, I don't think I've got any of these old CDs. I think I flogged them. Um, <laughs> but they do sound rather good, if I do say so myself. So in terms of rating, I'm going to give this, he says, being utterly and totally biased. Are you ready? Five sun zithers out of five. That's five sun zithers out of five, and it's a really good. I think I think it's a really good release. And here you go. See, there he is. He's actually playing the the auto harp. Look, he's using it as a percussion instrument. But he also uses bows as well, and plucks it. Very good. Uh, I was thinking of trying one of those myself, if I if I get the if I ever get the money together. Um, but yeah. 
So that's it. My name's been Darren Lock. I've been talking about this fantastic gift that was gifted to me. Uh, this is Laraj's Celestial Music. 19, oh God, I can't see it. 1979 to 2011. There you go. Now, do you keep the shrink wrap on or shrink wrap off? I've kind of just split it, you see, because the sticker. I do want to stick the sticker on the on the sleeve, so I've kind of kept it. See if I can keep it in its in its shrink wrap. But yeah, do check it out. Like I said, if you're a bit afraid of it and you just want to dip your toe in the water, check out the eMusic uh, website um, because that's probably the the probably the cheapest and easiest way of getting his music there are CDs there is a vinyl these are all new new issues they released last year so yeah good stuff anyway my name has been Darren Locke yeah it has been Darren Locke indeed and welcome back to Prog Review only one more thing to say all this historical stuff it's going to sound really stupid in the future you go, what's he talking about what do you mean he's He's welcome back. We've all been here all the time. What was he blabbering on about? It doesn't, it's not going to make any sense at all, is it? I just hope the microphone's plugged in. Sometimes it works its way through, you see, and then I'm sitting here just blabbering on to no one. And I'll have to do it all over again. But anyway, <laughs> only one more thing to say. I'm, I'm wandering around the houses. And that is, prog on. <laughs>